Dr. Creech, one of the topics uh, that I'd like to dive into today is the topic of biodiversity and the, 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 the importance of that, you know, for the world and, and for, the, for the trade as well. Uh, why don't you say a few words about that for us? Well, I travel extensively and work in other countries and biodiversity is a key issue for most countries and it's limited. In, in Texas, for instance, we have about 50 plants that are on their way out the gate. And so one of the things we do in our conservation program is try to resurrect those plants through horticultural techniques, propagation, whether it's cutting or seeds, and well, then we reintroduce them back into the wild. So I work with Texas Parks and Wildlife and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife for a lot of reintroduction projects. And a lot of them are actually uh, wonderful native plants, but we now have hogs. We now have deer in populations we've never seen before. And basically some of these native plants are being rubbed out. So part of what we want to do is to make sure that we keep the biodiversity that's available now in our environment and save it for future generations. Well, your work in spreading genetics to growers uh, is well known and appreciated. Um, at WildTree, what we're trying to focus on is a different set of criteria uh, than the typical landscape nursery. Uh, wildlife obviously have totally different needs um, than people. So what looks like a paradise to uh, you know, a couple is not gonna be the same thing as a paradise for either a, a turkey or, or a 12 point buck. So we're looking to fill that gap. There's a different set of traits that we want out of plant material. Um, maybe it's that the, the tree is producing uh, fruit or nuts earlier in its life. Maybe it's more prolific. Uh, maybe it holds on to its fruit or nuts longer or shorter periods of time so that there's nourishment as well as cover year round for the, for the wildlife that we're trying to attract. Um, can you say a few more words about the differences between the traits between you know the typical landscape industry versus what we're trying to accomplish here at Wild Tree? Well, I think you you said most of it, but basically we're looking for plant material that fruits early, mid season, and late, so you cover more of the wildlife needs. You're looking for plants that produce flowers early and fruit early or acorns early, and and then there every tree that you see in the wild is its own genetic diversity, and so some will lay a lot of mast on the ground and are known to be great nut producers, acorn producers, fruit producers, and our goal is to find those and propagate them and distribute them into the wildlife enthusiastic crowd, as well as uh, the, the pollinator issues that we face in this country today.